And the bell for round 13. Again, they touch gloves in the center of the ring and ready for due battle in the 13th round. The challenger in the white trunks, Rodrigo Valdez, against the great Argentine middleweight champion of the world, Carlos Monzon. Good action by Rodrigo Valdez, who came out hooking just what Gil Clancy told him to do, repeat that hook, and he put in six, seven, eight hooks in a row. It didn't do much damage, but they sure woke up Carlos Monzon. He has got to come on now in the tail end of this fight if he even has a remote chance of winning a decision. I personally don't think he can win a decision if he wins every round. He must knock out Carlos Monzon. Monzon is not at all impressed, and he has gone back to his regular style of fighting. I'm sure that among other words of wisdom and advice that Clancy has let uh, the game challenger know that uh, uh, perhaps uh, he is trailing in this fight, and he's got to put some heat on the champion. And the champion knows it, and he's cleverly just taking his time, biding his time, letting, tying up the challenger, not wasting any punches, preserving his energy in case he needs it. And the rally is sustained by this game challenger, Rodrigo Valdez. Again, the referee, Roland Dakin, separating the two fighters, the champion and the former champion. Maybe working harder this round than he has before as fatigue mounts. Exhaustion builds up. Rodrigo Valdez begins to run out of gas. He is calling forth all the energy he has, but he's not able to get off what he wants, and then he falls into a hapless clinch. A couple of good jabs by Valdez and a good right hand. Now a good left chases Monzon and pushes him against the ropes. And Monzon content to come out and grab him and bust him with a couple of shots to the kidneys. They're separated once again, and again they go back into a clunch. And you can see Monzon grabbing with his left and holding the right arm of Rodrigo Valdez and the referee coming in and slapping him away and separating them. Mon Monzon is just powdering him with uh, left jabs as he comes in. But the clenches that they go into, you can see, you can't see here, but you can see the face of Rodrigo Valdez. His mouth is open, he's breathing hard. He seems to put everything into one flurry and then falls in hoping to get some respite and rest. Less than 40 seconds remaining in round 13, scheduled for 15. Will we have a new middleweight champion or will the great Carlos Monzon walk out of the ring once again as he had so many times before the middleweight champion of the world? Less than 20 seconds remaining now. Rodrigo doing most of the fighting. Monzon content to let it go to the bell. He's not doing much fighting. Well, he's fighting defensively, just protecting himself and tying up the challenger, perhaps wearing him down a little bit. And the bell about to sound for round 13 for Monte Carlo. <laughs> round 14, again in the center of the ring. Both fighters early off the stools and right out there, having not having the be told to come out and fight. This is their job. They know what to be to do. And Valdez, I'm sure, has been told what he has to do if he's to pull this out and once again regain the middleweight championship of the world that he lost. Valdez has 14 and 15 to try to catch Carlos Monzon. Monzon content to box away, jab away, knowing he's got a big, handsome lead, not worried about winning if it goes to decision, and also loading up to catch Rodrigo Valdez perhaps with a thunderous punch and knock him out and not have to go to decision. Ama so amazing how these two fighters are now in the 14th round and really not showing too much fatigue. Uh, Valdez in the white trucks has taken uh, most of the punches, been on the receiving end, but yet uh, he continues to come in. A tremendous physical conditioning and preparation by these uh, both of these uh, great fighters in the middleweight division. Rodrigo Valdez has shown some signs of tiredness, Bob. His eyes are almost two slits now. They're all puffed up. The cut has not been a factor due to the excellent corner work and cut work of Gil Clancy. It has not been a factor at all in this fight. Oh, that was nice. I almost sense, Ferdy, that uh, the champion Monzon scoring there with a good uppercut and then again getting tied up or tying up uh, his opponent, that he's not trying for a knockout. He's been content now. He's probably feeling he's far ahead on points. He's not being as aggressive as he was three or four rounds ago. Probably saying, I've got him. I'll just be careful now. Don't get, uh, just be cautious and don't get over anxious. 
course, that comes with experience and uh, ring savvy and know-how. Quite right. He doesn't need to uh, risk anything with Rodrigo Valdez. He has nothing, no reason to gamble with him now. The only thing to do now is to hold him off. There's a minute left in this round. He'll have this one out of the way. One more three-minute period, and he retains his middleweight championship, and he can go on to a lucrative movie career in Argentina. Well, he scores with a good right as Valdez comes jumping almost into him. The referee, Roland Dakin, again, doing a fine job in this fight from Monte Carlo. Actually, the fighter's uh, behavior has been excellent. It's been championship behavior and sportsmanlike conduct by both of them. As we move on to 30 seconds in round 14, a good right there catches Monzo, but he's backing up and uh, taking a lot of the effectiveness out of the right hand thrown by the challenger. Good short chopping left hook followed by a couple, but uh, Monzo pushes him back with the left jab and himself scores with the right. As we move on to 10 seconds now, and once again, they're separated. And round 14 is about to go down in the record books for Monte Carlo. 